There is a story untold. Your future, your happiness. There is a voice, a voice that offers nature's lessons now when they are needed the most. Since 1993, a joy has been drawn from watching people just like you beat stress, become creative, and even get their sense of humor back. Ladies and gentlemen, the next voice you hear will change your life forever. Now, here is the chaplain of the Lighter Than Air Ministries, the good chaplain, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Well, hi again, glad of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. I'm coming to you from our beloved Lighter Than Air Ministries here in Northern California, USA. Thank you for joining us on our show, The Spiritual Side of Cannabis. Each week we get together just as reinforcement, really, for those wonderful people who have decided to try either our seven-minute miracle, seven minutes of getting high, followed by 53 minutes of listening to the most beautiful music in the world, your own music. Or perhaps they're part of our CD challenge, where you listen to every CD in your collection from the very beginning of your collecting till the end. Or make it records or cassette tapes or eight tracks or whatever you go back to. We have all different years of people different generations watching this show weekly. We know that music has a healing power unlike anything before in nature. We know there's herbs and there's all sorts of things which make life a little easier and if we follow the natural way we'll find relief from so many of our ailments that we get into our, ourself get into. We know that music works wonders. The power of music is documented and is real. Behold the power of music, for it is real. But when you add marijuana into that equation, music and marijuana together create nature's perfect pairing. It's remarkable and wonderful. Nature has provided for us, each and every one of us. We've, of course, taken some of the things which they provided for us and tried to make them profitable, to make them weaponized, or well, however we're doing dealing with things which are good in a bad way. Marijuana was like that for many, many years. For a hundred years, the United States government disparaged the use of marijuana and encouraged people not to get high, but instead to booze up. All the booze you could drink until it killed you, and it will. No one has ever died from an overdose of marijuana. No one. There's not one documented, not one documented ca case. Now, of course, some people have foolishly driven home wildly after getting high, and to them, that's a bad, a bad practice. And if you died, so be it. And if you killed someone else, God, God damn you. But it's not like that. Marijuana is a good thing. It adds to your self appeal. It adds you as a more sensual person as a person who cares more about the great expanse of our minds than care about our ability to get toasted on alcohol. Still, to this day, marijuana remains tainted. You know, when we get somebody who's per terminally ill and have a chance to help them, and we provide them with music and marijuana, one of the first common, common uh, phrases we hear is, why did I wait so long? Or, why did I make my children so unhappy bitching at them about marijuana and here it is? We hear that a lot. We also hear that in order to have a, f a full life, in order to embrace life to its fullest, you need to explore life. Don't sit home watching t people on television living their life and think that you have one too. Don't watch CSI wherever and think that you're part of an investigation to help society and the world. You're not. Turn off your TV and go to your music. Music is right there in your home. Better than any item in that medicine chest you may have. Music, your music, the most beautiful music in the world, has a rare form of, of healing power. And yes, match it with marijuana and you get the perfect pairing, nature's way of relieving stress, nature's way of helping you down the road. We speak to so many people who are homeless every week. 
This is one of the worst things that has ever happened in our country. We have a second class of homeless people, or a third class perhaps. This has to stop. We are the richest, richest country in the world. We have more natural resources, we have more people getting rich. Then why, oh why, do we have people finding their next deal out of a dumpster? It's sad. And we, we can do better, and we must. To all the churches that are out there who only open on Sunday, consider opening your recreation areas, your city areas. Please open these to the homeless. To those of you who can afford it, help us get the homeless uh, shower unit back onto the streets of Santa Rosa, California. It's there, sitting, waiting. All it takes is money. People on the streets need to shower. People on the ne streets need to attend to their hygiene, lest they fall behind and never be able to recover. Our ministry is so busy now. We support, of course, all the people now who are being thrown out of their livelihood of life. The people who are the small farmers who weren't included in a big, big corporate overtaking of marijuana here in California. If you weren't swallowed up already, you're probably not going to be swallowed up. And if you're going to grow on the black market, they have made draconian, I say draconian, penalties for the cultivation of marijuana and sale. This is wrong. This was never about penalties. It was always screwed up that people went to jail for it. And it will be now. We have to go. Our missions are many. But we want to say to you, as we often do, as you go through your life, when you need help, we hope that you find mercy. And as you go through your life, may you go with grace. Good night from the Light of the Nair Ministries. I'm Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Until next week, good night. And with that, this ministry, like no other, bids you good night. If you need additional information, want to offer your testimony, or need to consult with Chaplain or any member of our ministry, visit our contact page and email the ministry and we will be in touch. We care about you. And as always, until next week, may you go with grace.